Hello. Let me start by introducing myself. My name is Jérôme Asmar, and I am head of business development at Agrin Culture. I will be dedicating the next 10 minutes that we have together to introduce you all to our company, as well as the products that we have to offer. I will be more specifically presenting Seol, the first worldwide autonomous interrow crawler for vine and perennial crops by agriculture. Our company is a Toulouse-based agri agricultural robotics startup founded in 2016 by Christophe Aubé, a farmer's son. Our structure includes today more than 40 collaborators. Our company has 16 years worth of knowledge on R&D and GNSS RTK integrated positioning. Today, we offer on the market a word first and RTK positioning solutions, certified ASL B automotive grade with centimetric accuracy. In addition to positioning, agriculture has mastered the development of guidance laws, enabling a machine to evolve in its environment. Our flagship product, the BM Guide Box, concentrates all our knowledge and expertise. Highly connected, it is used today to position, to position and guide our robots as well as those of our partners. Through standard communication protocols such as can open, we are able to interface with any type of machine that we want to automate. Our objective is to guide in a secure and autonomous way the largest number of machines for agricultural and non-agricultural use also, it is certainly not by coincidence that agriculture has established itself on both the French and worldwide agricultural robotics scene. We have and continue to carry out various projects with major players in agricultural machinery equipment. In field crops, we carried out in 2018 the Santéol Challenge with the company Kuhn which consisted of using a fleet of three robots to carry out an almost complete itinerary on 50 hectares of corn in Northern France. In perennial crops, especially vines, we responded with the company Pelenc to the CIVC Champagne's project call. The purpose is to develop together a robot dedicated for the Champagne's region. We are continuously looking for new partners and new challenges to innovate, making farmers' life easier. Mechanization today represents 30 to 40% of the expenses on a farm. This percentage will increase in the coming years while reducing the use of chemicals such as glyphosate. The output of this chemical is already quite burdensome at both technical and financial levels. Reviewing our cultivation practices will be a necessity in the coming years. According to experts, Switching from chemical to mechanical weeding will divide workflow at least by four and increase costs by 10. Our objective is to offer you the solution that will meet your specific needs and enable you to meet increasingly restrictive specifications while maintaining your profitability. It is in this regard that I present to you today the SEOL solution, a concept thought out with farmers for farmers. SEOL is an autonomous interrow crawler weighing 900 kilos. It has a 48 electric propulsion and the power equivalent to 10 HP with a 95% energy efficiency. Energy is provided using a two cylinder motor and a generator. An additional electric battery ensures movement in closed areas for transportation maneuvers, for example. A consequent engine torque, ground stability and suitable tracks enables it to work in difficult conditions such as slopes and mud allowing it to work at wider windows than a conventional tractor. Sayol can operate up to 20 hours, consuming 1.5 to 3 liters of diesel per hour, depending on the activity carried out. Sayol reduces your fuel consumption by five, sometimes by 10, compared to a tractor carrying out the same activity. Sayol is the ideal compromise between a low fuel balance and work rate. With a small ground footprint and a trajectory optimi optimization, this machine will save your money without hurting your soil. 
In terms of implements, we work with well-known constructors such as Wesley and Nobili. We are looking to integrate the largest number of implements used today on a tractor. Today, our priority is row and inter-row weeding. Tomorrow, Sayol will be carrying out all kinds of tasks in your fields. In 2021, we will be offering you a complete range of tools for row and inter-row weeding, mowing included. Starting 2022, more implements will be added to fit all your needs. Sayol, with its variable wheelbase, can work in inter-rows ranging from one to three meters. This covers almost the entire French and European vineyard sector. For a classic row weeding activity, for example, working 12 hours nonstop at a three kilometers per hour speed, Sayol can cover up, can cover up to 10 hectares a day. We estimate that a Sayol robot alone can carry out weeding activities for a surface of 25 hectares a year. In order to guarantee simple, efficient, and ergonomic operations, Agriculture offers you two means of communication with your robot. A comfortable IP67 remote control for daily use in the field and a mobile application for automatic mode. This application can be downloaded directly to your phone. It will allow you to modify your robot tasks, parameters such as lifting the tool, working speed, or even pause or stop the robot. Robotizing a vineyard is a procedure done only once in a plot's lifetime. After having raised the crop rows, the user will be able to create a map of his plot. Once the map is created, the user can plan from his computer, the robot's paths, as well as, as the desired task. From his phone application, the user will be able to launch and monitor his robot, pause or even stop it remotely. By 2022, the user will be able to visualize his robot via an online platform, plan their daily work, and even make maintenance appointments. Thanks to our robot application, manage and plan your robot tasks while enjoying a great user experience. 10 robots in pre-commercial series will be produced for, for the 2021 campaign. They will be running on beta test farms in various locations in France. An official commercial public launch is planned by the end of 2021. Sayol is a simple to use, versatile and high performance solution. Easy to transport and to maintain. It will allow you to save time, respect the soil while, while guaranteeing the economic profitability of your farm. Thank you. Now we have time for questions. So maximum speed is six kilometers per hour. Since Seol is an automotive machine, it's not a tractor. It's not considered like a tractor. No PT, there's, there will be no PTO on the robot itself. Um, but instead we can, we can, we can have, uh, we can use your electric uh, motors, electric 48 volt motors in order to, to be able to have hydraulics on the, on the tool. So having hydraulics on the tool is totally possible, but not, the, not on the, uh, not on the robot itself, as well as for PTO. So the final price will, will be in, in a range of 50 to 60,000 euros. Sale can carry out, uh, can carry out up to 350 kilos. Otherwise, it can tow uh, tools. Um, it can tow. In, it can tow tools up to 800, 900 kilos. Having a, a full electric cell is is possible. You, you should know that the that it will it will it won't have the same um, the same. It won't would be able to work the same amount of hours like a thermal electric cell. Cell will be able to work up to six hours nonstop, comparing to a thermal one, which will be, which which could work up to 20 hours nonstop. At Agriculture, we developed our own GNSS RTK, uh, RTK system. Comparing to, to, to others like Septantio or, or the others, our, our, our system, uh, first of all, is, is, is developed by us. We own it. The major difference would be, I would say, the safety, because Agriculture guarantees, uh, guarantees the integrity of a, of, of a position at a certain, at a, at a, at a at a precise time. So, uh, if if we take the robot, for example, uh, on the field, 
we can be sure at any time that the robot is at the exact at the exact position that we know. By ensuring the security, we are we are 100% sure that the robot will not go outside the field. The, the robot, like any other machine, has its uh, has its limits. Uh, today we can work in slopes, we can work in muddy um, conditions, but uh, to everything it's limits. So, um, for example, in terms of slope, I can guarantee um, that the robot can work in slope conditions up to up to 30 percent. The robot can manage complex shape fields, of course. Um, it's not uh, well; it's the robot, but it's also the the, the ecosystem around it. That um, okay. when it comes to when it comes to to generating a, a robot path or generating a robot uh, mission, the robot can uh, can work in uh, in um, in complex uh, shape fields. Yes, on the robot you'll see um, it's like a, a white a white box. So in this box we we have uh, all the intelligence, so uh, the positioning and the guidance laws of the of the robot. Of course, we can run active tools. As I said before, we don't, we don't have a hydraulic system on the robot itself, but it is possible to have hydraulics on the tool. We are currently working, working on, the, on the security systems on the, on, the, uh, on the robot. The objective is to sell it by March. So uh, by March, uh, our, our studies will be concluded. The objective next year is to, is to implement 10 robots in France. Throughout next year, we will be able to, to gain more experience uh, on security, but other, other, uh, other aspects too. Our partners can be uh, machine constructors, but they also but but we also work with universities. So no problem, no problem, uh, no problem uh, with that. Concerning the, the security sensors, we have two security levels on the robot. Like all the other um, all the other roboticians, we we try to detect an obstacle at a certain distance from the robot, and then uh, we have what we call bumpers or, or what will what will stop the robot once it uh, hits the obstacle but the objective is to reduce the speed of the robot before hitting an obstacle of course and, uh, and maintaining the, the safety of every everyone uh, uh, around the robot yes we have already located our 10 our 10 testers so it will mainly be in southwest of france and north of france Today we use GNSS RTK for to position and guide uh, and get our robots. We don't use other sensors for 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 guiding the the robot. Yes, it will be tested in vineyards. Uh, Ninety percent of our uh, 2021 uh, users for the campaign of 2021 will be will be will be um, vine producers. So thank you very much, everyone. Uh, for any additional questions, I do not hesitate to visit our booth. Our team will be waiting for you. Thank you.